My name is Jill Jamison and my son is Jaden and he is diagnosed with optic nerve hyperplasia um, back in January um, when he was about nine months old and um, he is roughly, he's turning a year and a half right now. He has been delayed. Um, he is um, not walking, not crawling. He won't crawl. He kind of just scoots around and stuff. Um, but he's, he's standing and pulling up. Um, he, just, he also has ankle braces. His ankles are really weak. Um, but he's still just standing up, holding on to stuff is where he's at. But he is de developmentally delayed. We believe he has some light perception. Um, because when we would go outside and stuff, he would kind of blink and he'd put his head down from the sun. Um, so he knew he had some kind of light perception. Um, but further than that, not really anything there. It was just wait and see was all the only answer we got. Um, I took him to three or four different doctors and same answer. And um, so basically the way we uh, found that stem cells in China was my mom um, came across something. I can't remember if it was on the TV or something anyways. And then I, we started researching it from there. It was scary at first. I mean, just because you're in a different country. Um, but as soon as we got here, and got outside of the hospital, um, I felt safe. I mean, it wasn't like, it, it's definitely a cultural shock, but as far as um, just China, the Chinese people, everybody here at the hospital have been wonderful. Um, the translator has been great translating, and no, I, I mean, it's, I would, I would come back in a heartbeat. He has had um, four IV injections and three spinal, so a total of seven. Um, initially, we came out here just with six, um, and then um, we couldn't get our flight changed to go home, so he got lucky number seven yesterday, and so we leave on Thursday. The IV injections, of course, they you can do anything after that. Um, he was fine. Um, we thought he was he has gotten like a little bit more active and a lot like not aggressive, but he has, I don't know, the stem cells um, have made him like a, not a little bit more aggressive. Um, the spinal, it was difficult um, holding him down for six hours after. That was the hard part. But um, other than that, he had no reactions. We believe we've seen changes as far as him looking directly at you instead of trying to find you and tracking a body. Like if you walk past him, he'll track, he'll follow you a little bit. And so he didn't do that before. My cell phone, he'll follow it, different colors. I have different colors on my cell phone. Um, and then he hits, he's not reaching out for toys yet. And that's what I hope when we get home is so he'll start reaching out for toys and grabbing them. Um, we also have like a light, it changes colors and stuff that we're testing him with. He'll follow it and he'll stare at it. So we know there's something there. Now, of course, we, we don't know what exactly he can see, but um, that's what I'm hoping for when we get home is for him to start reaching out and grabbing for toys. He's standing a little bit more steady. Um, before he would wobble a lot. I'm looking forward to getting in his own environment his our house and then um, working from there so and kind of see his improvements um, because he does know uh, the living room and stuff where he could pull up and his toys and kind of see his reaction from there um just listen to your heart and go with your gut um, I know doctors are going to tell you that it's not good. Don't inject your kid with those stem cells because I've been told that. Um, but just go with your heart and I, I, I think it's good. I would do it again.